Greetings and thank you for this opportunity to come to you today, spend these few moments with you in the Word of God and prayer. This week we're talking about biblical decision making as we set out to make all kinds of decisions. What are some guideposts, signposts, or pillars that you and I can count on or the Bible gives us that uh, will help us make right decisions? Today we consider the pillar of virtue or virtue. The Bible tells us in 1 Peter 2 verse 9 that we are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, His own special people, that you may proclaim the praises of Him who called you out of darkness into His marvelous light. So we are God's chosen people in order so that we may display the praises. The literal meaning of that Greek word is display the excellence or the virtues of the one who has called us. So we are God's people and we are to show the world the virtues, the excellence of God who has called us. So that means we walk in line with His virtues. So when you talk about virtues, we're talking about character. We're talking about things like compassion, integrity, being just and fair, impartial, we're talking about forgiveness, we're talking about truth and integrity, as I mentioned. So these are godly virtues. So when we make decisions, a question we ask ourselves is, among all the decisions, options that I have, which of these align to godly virtues? Which of these are an expression of compassion, of fairness, justice, of integrity and truth, of forgiveness, not of retaliation and so on? Um, uh, and, and then I um, align my decisions with those things. If a decision is motivated by things that are wrong, that are contrary to godly virtues, like if I'm motivated from a retali uh, you know, when I want to retaliate, or I'm doing something that's unfair, unjust, or I'm, uh, that's being partial to somebody, if I'm doing something that's unethical, that is dishonest, that is not in there's no integrity, there's no truth in it then I will not, that's, that's a decision that is wrong, right? that is not God glorifying, that will not bless people. So this is another very important pillar that we will base upon which we build our decision making on. Is it aligned to godly virtues? So example, uh, if you're about to make a decision in your workplace, uh, you have to ask the question, is this a fair decision? Will I make the same decision for, you know, five or six other people? Or am I treating this person partially, uh, being fav uh, showing favoritism? Or will I make this, you know, if, if I'm impartial, then the same decision applies to everybody else, including myself. So am I being just, being fair? Ask these questions. So our fourth pillar is godly virtues. They guide our decision making. Let's pray. Father, we thank you that you've called us to put on display godly virtues, to express that. And Lord, may we express that even in the decisions we make, whether it's for our own families or people in our family, whether it's for people outside or bigger decisions that we may make that may affect hundreds or thousands of people. Help us to align our decisions to godly virtues. Thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.